there's things like cancer that are still uh, plaguing a lot of people. Even Christians uh, are facing cancer, and some of them are believe, believe it's the will of God for their life. And uh, w- we want to tell you guys that that cancer st- steals, kills, and destroys. It steals your time, steals your money, uh, kills your joy, kills relationship. Uh, cancer is a thief. Uh, my personal view of cancer, it's darkness. It's darkness. And so, Brian, lift up a general prayer for the viewers, for, for specifically for the area of cancer, and come against that spirit, come against that darkness, release faith over, that, over those bodies, and let's see uh, cancer be defeated in Jesus' mighty name. Yes. So, it is by the name of Jesus that every cancerous cell in those bodies that we're lifting up our loved ones or ourselves that are struggling with this area, every cancerous cell begin to be removed by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. Be gone and uprooted. Be purged away from that body right now in Jesus' mighty name. Every cancerous spirit, that wicked and foul spirit that is the cause of cancer, no more will you have power because Jesus has paid it all on the cross. In Jesus' mighty name, that we come with our faith and we say, cancer, be no more. We speak life where there was death. We speak healing where there is sickness. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Oh, Holy Spirit, I thank you, God, because I'm just, I feel you right now. And he desires, he desires to heal you. Whoever might be watching right now, I don't know if you have cancer but God just touched somebody. Receive it and give him glory and give him honor. He loves you so much. God, we just thank you because there is victory in your name. We're not, we're not praying for victory. We're praying out of a place from victory because it's already there. We already have it. And we're just declaring it and decreeing it. By our words, we say be healed and it is done. In Jesus' name, we thank you. And right now, we, we want to lift up uh, uh, a spirit of fear that, that, that also come against, come, comes against God's people. So, Father, right now, you haven't given your people the spirit of fear, but, but love, power, and a sound mind in Jesus' mighty name. So right now, I come against every spirit of fear, wherever you're hiding in that body, out of that body once and for all. In Jesus' mighty name, I declare the light of God into that body. Be healed in Jesus' mighty name. Be restored to the original condition. Every bit of spirit of fear. I speak life. I speak victory in Jesus' mighty name. Let perfect love cast out all fear in Jesus' mighty name. Because of Christ, be restored to the original condition in Jesus' mighty name. And viewers, right now, if you're experiencing pain in your body, we want to lift up that area to the throne of grace. So take your hand, place it upon that part that hurts, and we want to see God touch that part of your body. So right now, in Jesus' mighty name, I lift up that area of pain right now that 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 person is holding and is placing his hand on. In Jesus' mighty name, I speak to those muscles, bones, ligaments, nerves. Be restored to the original condition in the mighty name of Jesus. I command the backs to be aligned. I command the vertebrae to be aligned. I speak to those nerves. Be restored to the original condition. Muscles, be healed in Jesus' mighty name. I speak to, the, I speak to that discs in the back. Be restored to the original condition. Every pain in that back, leave that back in Jesus' mighty name. I also speak to those knees. Be restored to the original condition. Knees, be well. Sockets, work properly in Jesus' mighty name. Arms, I speak to you. Work properly in Jesus' mighty name legs i speak life in you in jesus mighty name in jesus mighty name and we're going to continue on to pray for the, for the areas of pain in, in that body in jesus mighty name yes in jesus mighty name if you are watching and you have pain in any part of your body just step out with faith and go ahead and place your hand on the monitor the screen or wherever you're watching from and right now it is by the holy spirit whose presence is with you right now there he goes Thank you, Lord. He's touching you right now. He's touching you right now. Some of you are beginning to feel this heat or this energy that's going from the top of your head to the soles of your feet. That is the Holy Spirit. He's, he's, he's dealing with you right now. He's touching you. And some of us are experiencing some things in our body that we now experienced before because that is the Holy Spirit. 
And right now, he's beginning to remove every pain that you have in your body, every sickness that's been plaguing you, because there is no room for those things. Your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Health is for you. Healing is for you. So right now, we just partner up. There it is. There's the fire. It's touching. It's touching some of you right now. Lord, I just thank you. And as you continue to touch them, just minister to them, minister to their, to their hearts. Let peace and let love begin to flow through them. Oh, Holy Spirit, I thank you right now. I thank you that you're touching them in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty In the name. mighty name of Jesus, I release the fire of God over people's stomachs. Any stomach problems right now in the mighty name of Jesus, I speak to the stomach linings to be restored to the original condition. Every pain in that stomach, you leave and you never come back. In Jesus' mighty name, I release my faith over that stomach. Be healed to the original condition. Every symptom out of that body right now, once and for all. In Jesus' mighty name, because of Christ, be restored to the original condition. Because of Christ, be healed in Jesus mighty name I speak to the headaches leave that body in the mighty name of Jesus every chronic pain every reoccurring pain in that head I command you once and for all in Jesus mighty name be healed in Jesus mighty name every every spine problem be restored to the original condition I release my faith let the fire of God locate that problem let the fire of God Push out every darkness in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. I release my anointing. I release my fire over that body in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. Any area of, uh, of sclerosis right now, any, any problems with the back, with the spine, be realigned right now. Be realigned right now in Jesus' name. Be put back into place. Every, every limb that is not balanced or matching the other limb, I command in the name of Jesus Christ to grow out to the original state, to the original length. In Jesus' mighty name. Go. In Jesus' mighty name. Every shoulder pains, every back pains, lower back pains, specifically pinched nerves in that body, begin to be unpinched right now. In Jesus' name. There you go. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Some pinched nerves just got undone right now. And the pain that you were experiencing will begin to be gone in Jesus' name. Full restoration upon your nerves right now. And your tissues begin to be loosed in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Let the fire of God, let the Holy Spirit begin to touch right now. We give you glory, God. We give you glory in Jesus' mighty name. So viewers, our time has come to a close. We want to probably do like probably two more specific prayers. And so one, one of these prayers, we want to give you guys an opportunity to 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 realign your life with God if you feel like you're far away from God and you want to get back to him you want to get reconnected we 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 want to lead you in a simple prayer if you mean it with your heart if you believe in your heart and you confess with your mouth I believe that the Holy Spirit will touch you you know uh, I want to tell you guys that the Holy Spirit is real he is here right now, and He is with you over there right now. And so if you open up your heart and you believe the Holy Spirit can touch your life and change your, and change your circumstances and bring you closer to Jesus. And so we want to lead you in a simple prayer. Open up your heart. You know, to, today is what we have. Tomorrow is not promised. And you have today the bible says today is the day of salvation and so we want to give you guys an opportunity to give your life to christ and so let me lead you in a simple prayer and after this prayer we're going to do one more special prayer is if you want to be filled with the holy spirit if you want the holy spirit to touch you brian's going to do that prayer but this is the first prayer i'm going to do is is returning back to God because that's the place where, where, where we need to go back to is return back to a relationship with God because He is the source of living waters. And so if you feel you're far away from God, just simply repeat it after me. Believe in your heart and confess it with your mouth and the Holy Spirit will do a work in your life. And so just repeat after me. If you feel like you're far from God or you've never given your life to Christ, we want to give you guys that opportunity. Today is a day of salvation. Today the Lord is knocking on your heart and He's saying, Son, daughter, come back. 
Come back to me. Start a relationship with you. I want to show you. I want to teach you. I want to become your father. And so I'm going to lead you in a simple prayer. So repeat after me. Lord Jesus, I come to you as I am. Please forgive me for all my sins. Wash me by your precious blood. I repent and I turn away from any darkness. In Jesus' mighty name, I ask you, save me, heal me, deliver me, restore me. In Jesus' mighty name, I give you my heart. Be the Lord of my life. Every area of my life, I yield myself to you. In Jesus' mighty name. And if you pray that prayer, I want to pray off pray it for you so father in Jesus mighty name every single viewer that has prayed that prayer I ask you Lord that you would touch their that touch their lives Holy Spirit I ask you that you would minister to them right where they are Holy Spirit that you would reveal yourself how real you are to them that it's not a religion but it's a relationship with you in Jesus mighty name right now I cover their mind their thoughts and their imagination I declare I declare freedom in their lives. Any darkness, I command you, leave their life in Jesus' mighty name. I speak victory. I speak healing in Jesus' mighty name. And I rela release the kingdom of God over their life in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, restore them completely. Holy Spirit, continue to do a work in Jesus' mighty name. Yes. And if you guys pray that prayer, please write to us. Let us know. I have prayer that pray. P pray that prayer. We want to continue to pray to pray for you, to lift you up, and to believe that God will do great things in your life. Brian. Yes, yeah, so we just thank God for the salvations. Uh, for if you have given your life up to Christ, we give glory. And we know there's a, there's a party in heaven right now because the angels are rejoicing that another name was written in the book of life. Uh, and right now, I'm going to do my part and pray for you if you wish to receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit or just to feel the presence of the Holy Spirit to be filled uh, stand with faith because God is a good God he's a good father and what you ask of him he will give uh, you know if, if you ask him for the Holy Spirit he's not going to give you a snake or anything bad because he's a good father so he's going to give you the Holy Spirit so this is the time and this is the place here and now shall you receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit. I speak these words because I, I believe with full faith and I know it is in the word of God that Paul laid his hands upon people and they were baptized in the Holy Spirit. And the same spirit that is in Paul is the same spirit that is in us. And it's about to be in you. It is in you. But the tangible presence, the awareness, the flow, the saturation is about to come upon you. So as you lift, I just ask, in faith, lift up your hands right now. And as your hands are lifted up, just begin to thank the Father. Just begin to thank Him. And, thank, and just remember, keep your eyes on Jesus. Because what He did for you, it was Jesus who gave us His Holy Spirit. And He desires to give you the same Holy Spirit. So right now, every hand that is lifted up, God. I ask in Jesus' name, because it is your will, because it is your desire, that you begin to touch them right now. Send your presence down. Let it rain. Holy Spirit, begin to fill them right now. Fill them right now. There it goes. There it goes. In Jesus' name, be filled with the Holy Spirit. Be filled with the Holy Spirit right now. In Jesus' name, Rosha da Bashiki ne Morokolara, Sinne Moroshe de Bashiki Kiki Namarapa. Be filled in the Holy Spirit right now. Let the fire of God, let the fire of the Holy Spirit begin to flow right now throughout your body. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, we thank you, we give you glory, we give you honor, God. In Jesus' mighty name. Yes, Holy Spirit, continue to work with every single person that is watching. Holy Spirit, we ask that you would minister to every single heart. Holy Spirit, we thank you that you are good. Holy Spirit, we ask that you would release your fire, release your anointing to every single person that is watching right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, let them experience your presence right now. In Jesus' mighty name, in Jesus' mighty name, we release our faith over their lives. In the mighty name of Jesus, we speak a, we speak a blessing over their lives. In the mighty name of Jesus. Protect them wherever they go, Father. We, we thank you and we honor you. And we give you all the glory, Father. Everything that you have done, we give you the glory. For you alone deserve it. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen, amen. That's so good. It's so good.
Guys, Easter is tomorrow. We're so excited. Our Lord and Savior rose from the, from the tomb, rose from the dead tomorrow. So let's rejoice because our God is not dead. He's alive. And because he is alive and we don't, we don't worship or a God that is dead, but the fact that he's alive means that we're able to have a relationship with him. Because he is not dead, he is alive. That gives us the ability to have a relationship with him. And so tomorrow is really a day where hope was born because we knew that God overcame death itself. And, oh, I'm just so excited. Please, if you're in the area, come to Hungry Generation. We're going to have an awesome time. Come meet uh, people, meet new people. We are just happy. We would love to have you here. And, and bring your kids. There's going to be a lot of games for them. And so it's just a wonderful time. And we just thank you for watching. Yeah, and if you don't know what, what the hours of our services are, it's 9 o'clock for the a.m. service, 11.30 for the second service, and, and bring your kids. Uh, we're going to have great prizes, a great celebration, and we're also believing for lots of salvations to happen tomorrow. Uh, invite your friends. If you're out of town in a different state, a different country, tune in at hungrygen.church and, and be a part of what God's doing because the best is still yet to come. And so we love you guys. Until next time, God bless you in Jesus' name. Yeah, stay blessed, be blessed in Jesus' name. Thank you for watching this content. I hope this was a blessing to you. If you're like me and you like to click on things, click on this, subscribe to our channel, and the content will come to you every time we post it. And remember, the best is yet to come.